But anyway, next up we have a, a really nice bit of news. A really nice bit of news, you see, because what happens is Blizzard just can't keep their fucking hands off of the cookie jar. They see a little bit of traction in World of Warcraft. They're like, oh, oh, we're seeing a little bit of traction in World of Warcraft. Let's make a fucking 12-month subscription offer for Wrath Classic and Dragonflight. Let's go. Let's fucking go, baby. New 12-month subscription offer for Wrath Classic and Dragonflight includes new mounts. Purchase 12 months. Wait, what? Wowhead, what the fuck? Look at Wowhead just straight up posting where you can go buy a 12-month subscription. <laughs> Wowhead's like, please, please buy a subscription. Don't let us see the traffic levels that we saw during the, the big content drought of the Shadowlands, please. <laughs> oh my god. A new 12-month World of Warcraft subscription offer includes many mounts for both Wrath Classic and Dragonflight. This option costs 155.88 bones. 160 bones, baby. $160. Festering Emerald Drake Mount in Wrath of the Lich King Classic. I'm assuming that's this one. Gargantuan Gurlock Mount in World of Warcraft. This one. This one actually looks really cool. I bet he can't fly, though, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Telix the Stormhorn mount in World of Warcraft. That's the little beetle thing. Not a big fan of that. World of Warcraft mount from the upcoming six-month offer. Because, of course, there's going to be a six-month mount. Looks like it's a fucking rabbit. This is like some Zeppla bait right here. This is some hard... They're going after Zeppla's fan base with this fucking rabbit mount. 100%. They're going after Zeppelin's fan base real bad. Um, Wrath of the Lich King classic pet from the upcoming six-month offer. So that's also going to be a bunny. Like, look, it's two bunnies. They're 100% going after Zeppelin's fan base. Again, sorry about nose scratching. I'm having a bad sinus day. Based on the image above, these upcoming six-month mounts offer look to be rabbit-based for the Lunar New Year. Telix Stormhorn mount. Gargantuan Gurlock mount. Look at that, dude. That actually looks badass as fuck. I don't, I don't think I have any of these crazy like mounts with uh, the thing on top. There's a bunch of different ones. I don't think I have a single one of those. And then you have the Drake for Wrath of the Lich King. Subscribe to our new 12-month subscription and for a limited time receive a bounty of items at no additional charge. Get more from your subscription. Your 12-month subscription includes three new mounts, along with everything in a current six-month subscription offer. You'll receive all the rewards from Lunar New Year's six-month subscription. What you get, World of Warcraft, 12-month subscription items. Subscription includes access to both World of Warcraft and WoW Classic, including Wrath of the Lich King Classic, Telix and Storm Hut. Yeah, this is the stuff that we already saw. Six-month subscription items, Nether Gorged Great Worm Mount. A few mana worms find suspicious stable sources of arcane power to reach its size. Great Worm's appetite for mana is unmatched. Lunar New Year Bundle, uh, Wrath of Lich King Classic, 12 months, Festering, Emerald, Drake Mount, Tabard of the Flame. <laughs> Redeem your items by accepting a special quest from innkeepers in any capital city, as well as Landro, Longshot, and Booty Bay. Quests available for all Wrath of the Lich King Classic characters attached to a single regional Battle.net account. It's like, again, Blizzard just can't keep their hands off of the fucking cookie jar. They can't do it. They just can't do it. They're just like, yep, yeah, we're, you know, we're seeing a little bit of success with a lot of people pre-ordering Dragonflight and trying to come back for Dragonflight. It's, it's like it's at the perfect time, too. It's right at the perfect time when people are super hyped about Dragonflight. They, they know exactly when to capitalize on this shit. People are super hyped about Dragonflight. A lot of people are coming back to the game and they're just like, well, time to fucking milk them. Don't get milked. That's my, if there's one thing that you can take away from this is don't get milked. Don't be a cow. Just don't be a cow. Just don't get milked. You know, it's like, listen, think of it like this, right? You're going into dragon flight. This guy can't do dragon riding. This guy probably can't do dragon riding. And this guy probably can't do dragon riding either. 
Do you really want to have these things when they can't even do the key feature of the expansion? Unless this motherfucker sprouts some murloc wings. That would be interesting to see. Fucking dragon riding a murloc mount. <laughs> we want Pixie Dwarf. It's not happening, Kegrin. Forget about it. Straight up not happening. But, uh, yeah, that, that'd be my advice to people. Don't get milked. Don't get hooked on a 12. Because, like, notice how they do this before the game comes out. Before you actually have a chance to see if you're going to stick with Dragonflight. If Dragonflight is going to be an expansion that you even care about. Notice how they're trying to get you hooked on the game for 12 fucking months before the expansion comes out. I think, in a way, I think it's incredibly dishonest. But then again, you know, that's just a standard modus operandi for the fucking Blizzard marketing team, so it doesn't really surprise me one bit that this is what they do. I still do find it fucking disgusting, and my recommendation is don't fucking do it. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't even recommend that you get into Dragonflight day one. I'm doing it so that I can report on it more than anything. Because, again, if I wasn't making content for it, if Dragonflight was good, it will still be good a month after launch. At which point you'll have reviews, you'll have plenty of opinion pieces from plenty of content creators. At which point you can make an informed decision as opposed to just jumping in through the hype and FOMO and all of this bullshit. But the worst part is that you already know there's going to be thousands upon thousands of people that are going to buy this shit. Because like, well, I'm going to play World of Warcraft anyway. Might as well just get all this shit. Sad. Sad but true. Sad but true. My thoughts on that.